buildings and architecture are one of the most fascinating subjects for travel photography, but you need to get them straight. Hello, I'm Rod Lawton and this is a video for amateur photographer on perspective correction in Lightroom using the tools in the transform panel. Before we get into perspective corrections though, it's worth checking Lightroom's Lens Corrections panel to make sure it has applied a lens correction profile, or at least use a correction profile embedded in a RAW file. If you're working with JPEGs, the chances are that lens corrections were applied automatically in camera. The point of checking this first is simply that it's hard to judge horizontal and vertical lines in a photo if there's also some distortion that makes these lines look a little bowed. With that out of the way, let's get straight into Lightroom's perspective correction tools. You'll find these in the transform panel in the develop mode. There are buttons for automatic corrections and manual tools too. This is an example of the difficulties of photographing buildings. It's the striking red rat house in Basel, Switzerland, but there was nowhere to photograph it from that didn't leave it looking skewed. But with the transform panel in Lightroom, it's possible to fix the perspective properly. First though, make sure the constrained crop box is checked, otherwise the correction process will leave blank wedges around the image, which you will have to crop off manually. Now perspective corrections come in two types. Vertical corrections are what you use to stop tall buildings from leaning inwards, but you can also correct horizontal convergence from shooting buildings from the side rather than face on. Lightroom has buttons for instant fixes for different combinations of these. The Auto button will attempt to apply a balanced correction for both horizontal and vertical convergence, while the Full button applies a stronger correction. They can be effective, but in my experience they don't always correct horizontal convergence fully, and very often I can't see much difference in the results between Auto and Full. They're worth trying out, but for this photo they're not that effective. In fact, you may not want to bother with fixing horizontal convergence at all. The real distraction in photos of buildings is vertical convergence, and you can correct this with the vertical button. This will also straighten the image at the same time, and it can be a very successful instant fix for the majority of images. In this photo, it's the vertical convergence that was really jarring, and with that fixed, it looks fine. Generally, we are a lot less sensitive to horizontal convergence. It looks so natural that we don't really notice it. But let's say I do want to fix the horizontal convergence too, so that it looks as if I'm photographing the building face on rather than from the side. The auto and full fixes didn't help much, so I'll use the guided gadget instead. So where is this? If you look in the top left hand corner of the transform panel, you'll see a button that looks like a hash symbol. If you click on this, you can now drag out four lines directly on the image, two along object edges that should be vertical, and two along horizontal edges. So if I start with the first vertical line, nothing much happens, though you'll see that Lightroom does display a handy little magnifier for precise positioning. But when I add the second vertical line on another part of the building that should be vertical, it instantly applies a correction. Now I can do the same with the horizontal convergence, drawing one line to follow one horizontal part of the building and another to follow the horizontal line of the base. And now the horizontal convergence is fixed too. As you'll see though, this level of perspective correction does crop off quite a lot of the photo. When you apply perspective corrections like this, you do end up with a tighter angle of view. It's unavoidable. It's a good idea though to keep this in mind when you're taking pictures, so that you leave as much space as possible around the building to allow for corrections later. In this case I'm not too bothered because I think the facade of this building is its most interesting feature. Even so, there might be a little more of the image left than I imagine. If I swap to the crop tool I can see that there is a bit more image area available around the edges so that if I unlock the crop tools aspect ratio padlock, I can re-crop the photo to get this back. We all like to photograph different things when we travel, from landscapes to local cultures to street scenes. Very often 
it will be the spectacular and very different architecture of other countries and cities that catches our eye. And while we don't have to worry too much about perspectives and viewpoints for other kinds of subject matter, with buildings it does make a difference. Hopefully this video has shown you just how easy it is to correct these perspective convergence effects in Lightroom and has encouraged you to try it out for yourself. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.